Hey everyone, uh, so this is just a super duper quick look at how I made this chromatic aberration shader. Um, I know that it's been, for me it was a little difficult to find how to make it, so I'm making this video in hopes that it's not difficult for other people. Um, so this is the final result, completely customizable for whatever you need um, when it comes to the actual aberration and the refraction and the fresneling and all that other stuff. Um, I'm not a technical artist, so I'm not 100% sure how this works, but I'm going to show you the material on how I made it anyways, and hopefully you can make it work the way you need it. So here's the material itself. Um, the important part is right here in the aberration creation. Um, essentially what I did was I used the scene color node and then set it to offset fraction. Don't forget to do that. Um, after making the material translucent, it only, the scene color node will only work if it is offset, if it is a translucent material. Essentially what I did was I broke it down, I did it, I pulled the scene color three times for each of the colors that I wanted, broke each of the colors specifically out, and then rebuilt those individually into a new float, uh, float three vector result thing. Like I said, not a technical artist. Um, I ran that through a Fresnel shader, uh, just because I like having that a bubbly effect, and I use a, I use, um, Fresnel on the refraction so that I can get stronger refraction on the edges and not in the middle, so that the middle isn't as distorted and the edges look more bubbly, just the way that I needed it. You can adjust it however you want. Um, so I run that also through a Fresnel. Uh, multiply by two, again, that's just a personal thing for me. I wanted it to be a little bit stronger. Um, you plug that straight into the, uh, into the emissive. You put the refraction stuff into the refraction. And then, uh, you'll also need an opacity parameter and, uh, opacity color if you want to change it and tint it a little bit, um, or tint the, the, the lens that you're using a little bit. And that's it. Um, it was, uh, rather simple, even though it was a little, it took me a couple of days to find all the information I needed, uh, to make this work. But, that's how it works. This is how this is what it will end up looking like. And if you just adjust the 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 three the constant three vectors, the the red shift, the green shift, and the blue shift that I have, if you adjust that, you'll notice that the higher the number, the farther away that color will be from the object that is that is being aberrated, and the stronger the color will be. So for me, I'm only using 0.01 to get this effect. You don't need a lot to get a cool looking um, cool looking effect. So anyways, that's it. I hope this helps. I hope this helps everybody. If you have any questions, ask down below. I'll do my best to answer them. If I can't answer them, I'll find somebody who can. See ya.